we were eyeing up a run from the chairlift, the uh, Kular Extreme. So the top of Blackcomb hasn't opened yet. That's why there's a lot of untouched snow. Yeah, it should be a good hike up here. Get the juices going, get the muscles working. This is where we're hiking to, guys. Just down here is the Kular Extreme. Yeah, the fun thing about this hike is it's definitely, it's all in stages. And stage one is just kind of getting up here into the Alpine Seventh Heaven area. Stage two is where we're gonna wind up through some switchbacks. And then stage three will be right at the top. Sun's out, woo! Oh, these goggles are amazing. <laughs> I'm also riding the Oakley Fall Line goggles for the first time. And I'm gonna test them out and give you guys some feedback uh, by the end of the day. Yeah, I got on the Oakley Air Brakes. Nice big goggles with the emerald prism lenses. And yeah, we'll see with the weather, how they go today and give you some feedback along the way. Nice. <laughs> this chair here, guys, is the Seventh Heaven chair. One of the best chairs on Black Home Mountain. Takes you to an amazing area. It's mostly in the sun all day. Just be careful, riding through early season, there's uh, some exposed rocks. How's it going, Chris? Pretty good. We're about three quarters of the way up and we're on the steepest part of the hike right now. And I feel like the closer we get to the top, the more disheveled I get. So you can probably tell we're close. <laughs> nice, man. Over here in the distance, guys, is Lakeside Bull. It's a great out-of-bounds area for building backcountry kickers. That might be on the agenda tomorrow. Build an out-of-bound kicker and session some tame dogs. We've got the fourth phase of our hike coming up, a little boot pack up to this top of Seventh Heaven chair, short walk over, and then we're at the double black diamond, Kular Extreme. Woo! Just summoning all of my strength for the last push of this boot pack. Up here, top of Seventh Heaven chair. Amazing paddle runs all around us. Nothing up here has been open yet. The only access has been by hiking. So just tons of fresh lines around. Try to find the best one. Sweet, we're here at the top of Black Home Mountain. We got some awesome steep, fresh powder down beneath us here. We're at the top of one of the highest peaks in Whistler Black Home, and we're in like the sunny area too, so we can see everything. Depending on where you guys are riding, you know, plan your day so that you can go to the least tracked out area. And think about the sun too. Think of where the sun's at. It's just making everything just much easier to see. It's gonna be amazing. Hey! Hey, camera boy. Hey, what's, what's up? up, camera two? Hey. Camera one. <laughs> Should we do this? That side, stay in the sun. Give you a holler if there's any rocks. Drop it. Whoa, rocks! Rocks! There's a slide through right here. Definitely early season conditions in here, guys. I clipped a rock coming down. Extremely scary, but it's okay.
<laughs> yeah, that was amazing. It was a mix for me of like amazing thrill, like super fun with terrifying scary because there was so many like rock mines mixed throughout the snow. So really trying hard to scan ahead and looking for all those like little rocky mine patches. This was a run where following somebody down, it makes it a lot easier because I was seeing Kevin just nick these rocks here and there and so I knew where to be careful and I could change my line accordingly whereas he was just kind of uh, in the dark a little bit. I was the kamikaze pilot going in the front. <laughs> yeah, Chris, how were the Oakley air brakes? As we were coming down, it was sunny, great definition in the snow, could see Kevin's beautiful jacket, no problem, and all this stuff around us. And then towards the end, so went behind the clouds, so I had a difference of light in there, and great in both sets of light. And I definitely recommend them. Really big, really comfy. I felt the same way with these fall line goggles. Just made everything crisp, clear. Um, any of the bright stuff in the sun, any kind of glare, completely took that away. I always feel like the best goggles are just the ones that you don't even notice are there. And as I was riding, didn't notice the goggles at all. Just had a fully clear, um, view of what was ahead. I also feel like they fit really well with the sandbox helmet. Just go together perfectly. All right, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs Boop. up. <laughs>